Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the all new Cooper Collaborative Cobot by uh, Lincoln Electric here. So we have the extended length edition. So this one is a, has a 59 inch arm and then there's another unit that has a smaller shorter arm. Uh, but what I wanted to show you today in this video uh, is we just got our demo unit in. Um, so it came in on this cart. Uh, what I'm gonna talk about is what it can do, some of the functionality on it. And we're gonna weld a real world part that we got in. Um, so just to jump right into it, comes with a Power Wave 450, comes with the arm, the feeder, and the table. Now the uh, fixture table was extra. Uh, we got that in just to, so we could use our clamps on our fixtures, but uh, pretty awesome little robot. So what, I'm gonna, what I want to show you really is the easy use on this thing. So where people want to talk about, well, what do I need this for? Why do I need this robot in my life or in my weld shop? Um, it's because it's, it's adaptable, right? It's easy to use. Um, and you can find ways to use it on parts that you never thought you could. So like this part right here is real world. They were hand welding this part and we programmed it probably five to 10 minutes on the programming side of things because it's so easy and user interface is simple. Um, and we got it all welded out and we're gonna run this for you. But let me just show you one thing real quick here. Um, so we'll give it, see how easy it is to move. I mean, I'm, I'm not adding any force to that whatsoever. So that's what this collaborative robot is about. So we can come down into our weld position and if you're a hand welder in a shop, basically you use your, your knowledge of hand welding and you adapt it to this cobot and you just program it from there and put in points of welding and then we're just going to bring it back up out of there show you how easy it is to move. I mean, I'm not adding any, any force to that at all. It's very simple. Um, but to teach this robot now, the biggest thing, if we want to zoom in on our, what we have here is on our, our weld program. So we got a pretty decent sized program here. I believe it's, yeah, 36.37 points, but all very simple to, uh, not like your traditional FANUC pendant. That's why I think it's all on this nice tablet. Um, we just add in parts. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to run through a cold run, no welding. And I'm just going to show you how it moves. Um, and what positions it's going to run in. So this is pretty simple. So as you can see, this thing's moving along there. And I'll show you this. Now why it's collaborative is we can actually stop this robot. So if it were to hit somebody or something or hit a fixture, see I can stop it right there. Now we throw an error code. We just clear that error code and then see it stop though. I didn't hardly put any force on that. So that's why it's a OSHA approved robot for no weld screens, that sort of thing, because it'll stop with the minus one. Should we just go back in the green? Pick right back up where we left off. Pretty awesome. I mean, I put no force on that to stop it. But when we go live into the live welding, you'll see what it actually is doing. I mean, it's, it's just running through the weld cycle right now. Um, but we just want to see the, show you the motion and what it's doing. So now we're back out turning things. So we're going to turn this in live. So what we'll do is just... Inch this wire out a little bit so we're not stumbling at the park. 100%. We'll turn well mode on. And then we'll hit the green button and then we'll be live to weld here.
simple setup here. I'm just going to turn the weld output out, turn my screen back on. So what I wanted to show you here, what we're running today is actually an 052 flux core wire. So it's it's actually it's a pretty decent sized flux core wire. Um, we're just laying tack welds on these tubes on this fixture plate or on this piece of uh, weldment here. A uh, very simple weld, but the, the person that brought this part to us wanted repeatability, accuracy, and just something simple for his people to run. So what he's run into is a labor force. He's, he can't find uh, people to actually come in and weld these parts. So he's looking into a robot to do this operation because it is, once you get it programmed, it's, set, it's simple. You just gotta feed the, feed the fixture and it welds it out. So it's very cool. So what we're gonna ask for you guys today is, is what's, what challenges do you have in the welding world that we, we could possibly program for you to run a cobot on? And uh, let us know. Leave comments below, questions, comments. We'll do our best to answer them. And uh, stay tuned, we're gonna have a whole series of videos on this robot, uh, from setup to programming, to what it comes out of the box like. Um, and we're gonna have all that together. So stay tuned for some more videos. Thanks again for watching.